our director 18 has come out with an upgrade this is only for people that have the subscription 365 and uh they added quite a few toys to it one of the biggest things probably people are going to like in this the ones that are on the subscription is they can download stock videos photos and backgrounds from Shuttershock. i'm going to talk about this in the end a little bit more so you know what's going on um you can use the title review feature to be more creative uh, some more encoding attached shapes created to the shape designer you get a little fancy there export srt sub subtitle files I used to do that in actual YouTube instead of on uh, PowerDirector. Adds priority customer support feature within the program. Not sure where that is yet. Create custom callouts and annotations for your videos in the Shape Designer. Utilize more professional looking title sequences with motion graphics. Titles. So I guess they're saying that their titles were pretty cheesy last time and now they've upgraded it where it looks more professional. More controls over the effect, speed, and behavior of the pit, title, particle, and paint designer. So basically, they've upgraded these items to run better. I did test the pit designer a little bit, and it does seem to be a bit faster. Edit projects with a one-to-one -one aspect ratio. Adds import support for HDR video. Apple ProRes. So I guess if you're running an Apple computer. It's Sony. 8-bit video files. Some upgrades there. Use the library preview window to preview, mark, and trim clips in the media library. That'll come in handy for editing if you use that. Customize your editing workspace by undocking and moving the library window around. I move your little windows around to look different if you want. I thought they could do that before. Maybe they added a couple more. Preview 4K video produ productions within the Ultra H HD preview resolution. That's nice. Um, use audio scrubbing to preview the audio waveform and audio clips a little upgrade there more snap lines that help to be precisely in position of titles and other objects so when you move things around you can snap them in place instead of playing with them and trying to move one pixel at a time build your projects audio levels right in the timeline with the timeline preview volume meter nice Reverse the timeline track order so the main video track is at the bottom of the timeline. Customize your mouse wheel behavior for timeline scrolling. Okay, so I wanted to talk about this shutter situation. So I wanted to talk about the shutter stock. Now, when you upgrade PowerDirector 18, you're going to get this icon here. It says shutter stock. And then basically when you click it, it's going to give you a whole list of MOV files that you could download, which I have some here, and use them in your videos. Now a lot of people think, wow, that's really cool. You know, I can add some extra video, really jazz it up and get it going. I, for one, don't like this. Why didn't the um, videos I downloaded go into a folder on the side? Why did this have to be littered up here? Now, here's another situation I noticed. If I pull this up for you. I went and had a look in this folder. And you can do this on your own computer. You'll have to put your own name in there, where it says your name, and go find where they're keeping the videos of the Shutterstock cache files. Now, I downloaded some videos uh, last night, and when I close PowerDirector and I reopen it, there's nothing there. But I went and checked the folder, and the files are still there. So I looked around PyroDirector to see if I could clean this folder, clean this. Maybe in time, PowerDirector does it automatically. I have no idea. But it's looking to me like I'm going to need to go to this folder from time to time and delete files that I've downloaded from, from Shutterstock just to maintain, or else I'm going to end up using up all my hard drive space which I'm not too impressed with let's have a look at some before and after in your old uh, PowerDirector 18 this is what it would look like with the new one now you see the Shutterstock icon and we'll bring it down and uh, in the old one our color boards our backgrounds our music our sound clips and everything we used to have to go 
and click on the puzzle and basically get this information here. But with the new one, it's actually located right here now. So it's easier to find basically. And again, it does give it a, the path where files are being imported to. Access to your plugins, again, before we used to click on the puzzle. Now we're actually clicking on at the top, we have a thing called plugins. So that's the note. We're not clicking on an actual puzzle because there was, we're clicking on plugins at the top. So the, basically they took the puzzle out because they had plugins up there too. So we'll come down. Um, says here you can uh, quickly filter media in your library with just one click is what they're doing here and that's what these little icons here now if you move over here notice they added some other icons so you can click on music icon video icon so on so forth and you can just go click 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 and bounce around between your folders a little quicker coming down You can easily find your uh, previously created projects. In the old uh, version, you used to go to My Projects. Now you actually click on a disk, and My Projects will appear. Access to PIP or Mass Designer has changed, apparently. You used to go to Designer before, and you'll see there, that's where you would actually access it, where now you're clicking under Tools, and it's actually ac accessed under Tools. So some of the menus, have changed in Power Director 18 and how you move around is what they've done. So again, before you would click Tools, Power Tools, then over here to Video Speed, where now you're clicking Tools at the top and everything's in here. So before we had one, two, three clicks. Now we're getting one, two clicks. So basically they removed one click and put everything under Tools. It does seem like it'll be a lot easier to, to find easily find muted timeline clips this is what they look like before as you can see and uh, this is what they're looking like now as you see and this says turn off snap to in the timeline so if you don't want the um, when you drag something across this was before and this is now after so there's a quick look at some things that are going on. Best ways to do is get in there and play with it. But um, I would pay attention to the Shutterstock folder and uh, write it down, put a sticky on your computer, whatever, and basically go into this folder and I'll have to where you're going in the bottom of the video. You may want to keep an eye on that so it doesn't eat up your hard drive space. I did check in the gear and uh, I was looking to see, you know, if there was a path there or something I click clear, remove, or anything, and I didn't see anything. So, so little upgrade for Pirate Director 18. Something for you guys to get in there and play with. I'm sure a lot of people like the idea of the Shutterstock. I did notice some Shutterstock videos I did load. I was getting an error, but there were some I didn't. So this does seem to be a little bit buggy to me. And I'm pro we're probably going to see a lot more enhancements coming with this. All right. Catch you guys later.